to our service of Holy Eucharist on the Feast of All Saints. Our service begins on page 355 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you do not have a Book of Common Prayer, you can go to bcponline.org or to our website at johnsmemorial.org. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints and all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verses 9 through 17. After this, I, John, looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one who knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The Word of the Lord.
reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. The Word of the Lord. Jesus Christ according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who, who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Welcome again to our service of Holy Eucharist on the Feast of All Saints. Now, the temptation for all of us on All Saints Sunday is to hear stories of saints and to think, I need to be like that person. 
Well, let me tell you as your priest, no, you don't need to be like anyone else. You are perfectly made in the image of God. You are just right the way you are. And while it can be tempting to try to copy the lives of the saints, those living and those who have died, God calls us to find our own path. We have been made uniquely in the image of God, and the path we're to walk is the walk for us alone. No one else in the world has been given the gifts that you have been given or the strengths or the challenges that you possess. No one knows what it is like to walk in your footsteps. What made the Apostle Paul, Mother Teresa, and St. Francis worthy to be called saints was not their extraordinary gifts. It was their heart's desire to follow in the way of Jesus. And like the disciples before them who had trudged up the mountain to listen to the words of Jesus, the saints of old were willing to go the extra mile to climb mountains if necessary just to hear Jesus. They saw people with whom they walked and reached out to meet their need. They created opportunities to sit together as kindred spirits for those who were forlorn, and they shared their heavenly wisdom with those who had gone astray. What separated the saints from others was their unrelenting commitment to God. When they experienced poverty of spirit, hungered for righteousness, or were persecuted or reviled, they looked to the Lord. When given opportunities to show mercy, offer peace, and to rejoice, they did as Christ would do. The thread that ran through their lives to ours is the thread of love. And in this Celtic stole that I'm wearing right now, you can see what a thread of love looks like. That you can see how the threads and the design go from top down and from inside out. Representing that love of God coming down to us and going out to others. And when you look at Celtic jewelry, you can see very clearly that there are no open circles. As God ordained, we are all one people, united, woven, into different shapes and patterns, all of different races, creeds, and nationalities, into a stunning, stunning piece of handiwork that only God could have created. And God is still at work. The same God who created the, the world and chose people like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the weak, the fallible, and the unruly, is still at work in the world about us. And as we struggle currently with the world around us, as we journey through this unfamiliar territory of a COVID pandemic, we can begin to wonder if those threads are unraveling. And I just want to tell you, dear people of God, remember God is here. God is very much here and in the midst of all of this. And God will be with us until the end of time. God's love is that perfect circle holding us all together in unity. And I want to say something about that circle that unites us as a parish. People will sometimes say to me, Nancy, now you wouldn't know this about me, but I used to be very active in the church. And I want those of you to know that I do know that about you. I know that you served on the vestry, and I know that you taught Sunday school, and that you ushered for services on Sunday morning, and that you worked in the kitchen, and you did any job that the church needed to have done. And I know that, because we would not have the parish family we have today, and you would not be the beloved members that you are today. So thank you, and on behalf of the parish, I want you to know how grateful we are for all that you have done for all of us. We wouldn't have the families we have today had you not taught Sunday school or done those things. So just remember that, that you have modeled for our younger members what it means to continue the thread of Christ's love through the next generation. And now 
Now is the time for you to allow that younger generation to teach their children how to carry the thread of love as they care for you as you faithfully cared for them. Carrying the thread of God's love from generation to generation, that is the work of the saints. In our prayers this morning, you will recognize the names of some of the saints of God who have shaped your life and ministry. Know that as you pray for them, they are praying for you. Also in our prayers, like Episcopalians worldwide, we will give thanks for the 2021 commitments that you have made. It's not a coincidence we recognize the commitments made for the coming year on the same day we remember the saints. Were it not for those faithful saints, we would not have the beloved John's Memorial that we have today. And we give thanks for all who have given of their time, talent, and treasure in every generation. You have knit us together as a community and will carry us together into the future. Knit into the communion of saints, we are one faith, one body, one hope in Christ. And you, beloved children of God, you are the thread. You are the thread uniting heaven and earth for all eternity. You are the thread that carries Christ's light into the world. You are the thread that leads those on the way in the love of God. You are beloved children of God. Thanks be to God. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people. Cleansed in the blood of the Lamb and in communion with all the saints of every time and place, let us offer our prayers to the God who loves us, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that the Lord may confirm it in faith, sustain it in hope, and deepen its communion and charity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who wield earthly power, that they may recognize in the disciples of Jesus, children of God, anxious to serve in building up the earthly city, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those beset by persecution for righteousness' sake, and those weighed down by trial and distress, that the examples of the saints may give them courage, and the help of believers give them hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly gathered to celebrate the Eucharist and communion with the Church in heaven and throughout the world, that nourished by the word of truth and the bread of life, we may bear witness in our own generation to the timeless gospel of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For those departed this life in faith and in the fear of God, that they may join the innumerable throng of holy ones gathered before the throne and the Lamb, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, mighty God, immortal God, adored by angels and praised by the saints, receive the prayers of your holy church and grant them in accordance with your gracious will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the saints of God departed this life, we remember at this time. Mary Alice McCarthy, Tom Robertson, Dr. Robert McClanahan, Charles E. McClanahan, Lee Etta Sturgill, Lee Cohen, Carolyn White, Mary Mead Edwards, Eleanor Bobbitt, Nancy Lancaster, Morgan Pritchett, Lena Vance Blackley, Marguerite Gardner, Jacqueline Phillips Eastman, Barbara Cheney Hodges, Myrtle Mutt Banton, Brett Parker, Kitty Hubbard, and David Warrior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our powers and privileges, guide the people of the United States in the election of officials and representatives, that by faithful administration and wise laws, the rights of all may be protected and our nation be enabled to fulfill your purposes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us greet each other in peace. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts.
join in our prayer over the 2021 commitments. Gracious and loving God, giver of all that is good and true and beautiful and life-giving, these papers represent our sweat, they represent our lives, they represent our dreams. The commitments which we make on them are but tokens of the gifts you have given to us, and they are pledged in thanksgiving for all we have received, for all we have been inspired to be, for all we are challenged to become in this place. May they be the first fruits of all we have and not what we have left over, so we may live out as closely as possible how you give to us. May we see them as our offering to you, sacred, holy, yet earthy, filled with possibilities. May we hold this image in our hearts and minds, so as we give and watch our offerings come to your table each week, we can see our very selves being part of this offering. It is us on the table, living sacrifices to you. Amen. Our service continues with Eucharistic Prayer D, found on page 372. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right to glorify you, Father, and to give you thanks. For you alone are God, living and true dwelling in light inaccessible from before time and forever, fountain of life and source of all goodness. You made all things and filled them with your blessing. You created them to rejoice in the splendor of your radiance. Countless throngs of angels stand before you to serve you night and day. And beholding the glory of your presence, they offer you unceasing praise, joining with them and giving voice to every creature under heaven we acclaim you and glorify your name as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power, your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy, you came to our help, so that in seeking you, we might find you. Again and again, you called us into covenant with you. And through the prophets, you taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son to be our Savior, incarnate by the, birth, by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. To the sorrowful, joy. To fulfill your purpose, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the grave, destroyed death, and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe, to complete his work in the world, and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, his heavenly Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and his descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, 
awaiting his coming in glory and offering to you from the gifts you have given us the bread and this cup we praise you and we bless you we, we praise, praise you, you we, we bless you, you we, we give thanks to you, you and, and we, we pray, pray to you, you lord, lord our god lord we pray that in your goodness and mercy your holy spirit may descend upon these gifts sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ, to the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ, Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. And grant that we may find our inheritance with all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty God and Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Father who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for, for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. May God, who has given us in the lives of his saints, patterns of holy living and victorious dying, strengthen your faith and devotion, and enable you to bear witness to the truth against all adversity. Amen. And the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you for being with us today to worship on the Feast of All Saints. If you would like to receive the home communion, please contact our office and we will see that you will get that. Have a wonderful day. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Mm -hmm.